So I found all six locations of the Intel. Here they are on screen. They are in very random locations, but in this video I'm going to show you the exact locations, so make sure you check out the timestamps down the bottom there. This is for the Secrets of Pacific, and it's a battle event inside Warzone. There are two ways to unlock it, one inside Vanguard Multiplayer or inside Warzone. It is very tricky to get it in Warzone, but totally possible. I'm going to show you the locations right now, starting with Prison in the background. If you're a Warzone player, you're going to stick around for more. My name's Gabba. This is a dedicated Call of Duty YouTube channel, and I hope you find it very useful. So why not subscribe for more? Let's get right into the locations. So starting off with prison, you'll see that you have to drop in, you've got to land in the bottom window and it's right there on the right hand side. You're looking out for a bat for table tennis. As you collect it, you'll still need to finish a challenge. It says there, survive one circles. It says right at the top there. And it also confirms that in the bottom left corner. You need to survive one full circle to unlock this one. If you unlock it and survive a full circle, you end up getting yourself a new calling card. The next one's located inside Promenade West. It's inside an electronic store. A little tip for you is when you're dropping to the ground, look forward for about a quarter of your height. And as you get closer to the ground, stare at the ground, you'll drop very, very quickly to speed up your chances of getting hold of this before anyone else does. Lots of team members can grab this all at once. Multiple teams can grab it all at once. The difference is, is everyone's trying to kill you. When you die, you do drop the item of intel and you won't be able to do it a second time once you've died and dropped it you will not be able to go collect it again which is a sad sad time it says here i've got to survive three rounds and then i can unlock the next part of intel the next part of the intel is at the airport it's inside one of the diners the best way to do it is from the roof drop down and it's very simple to grab it uh, i tried my best to break the glass before i turned up there to speed up i was so struggling to get this one there were so many teams dropping in there i can tell you it's quite a high traffic area of the airport and of course lots of people landing here it's kind of in this back corner, it's the little diner at the airport, and you'll see this little round circle here, and press the intel, and away you go. This takes three rounds to survive. Best thing to do to survive is to go up into the sniper tower at the airport, and you'll certainly survive as long as you can. Just lay low, cover the zip line, and you'll be good. The next piece of intel is actually at the hospital. It does hint this is about getting revived and such in the clues. It's the front door, it's the left hand door, me and Mr. Midi landing here, bouncing through the door and leapfrogging over the counter. Well, he does. Uh, through the door and to the right here. It's the second um, operation table, not this one. It's the one through the next door. I made a mistake here. Through the next door and nice and lit up. And it's that blue uh, med kit. Pick it up and that's your next part of intel. This one is annoying. You have to survive four rounds for this one. It's annoying because a lot of players are going to be camping to survive uh, or try and go for the win. But it means it's going to be a very slow game for a lot of people. The next one's the abandoned mineshaft to the left of the airport on the minimap. You'll see... That there's this little cubby hole here you can go through and it will take you down this uh, zip line. So once you're at the bottom of the zip line, you're going to follow the path around under the little mine track. And you're going to hear the guy talking, saying, look out for something. And you'll see it just around here. Pack of cigars, don't mind if I do. Close, and the cigar. So the next one is quite north of the map, up near TV station. And you'll see it's kind of closer to Iray. These red things, these are called the secret. This is what it's called, secret. It's really difficult. They don't always spawn here. I've been here about six different times, and it was only there once. Super frustrating, and I know that multiple teams can do this in a game. It isn't that. It just doesn't spawn here. So down the zip line here, and I'm going to fast forward this a little bit so you know where I'm going, because a lot of it is moping around, looking and looking and looking. And let me show you exactly where it is. It's in the bunk bed area, so let me just pause and fast forward to that. So keep your ears open for this announcement. Look around for anything out of place. Once you hear it, you know you're in the right area and you need to keep your eyes peeled for the bunk bed area. I'm going to show you that now. By the way, my name's Gabba. I'd love for you to subscribe while you're here. Let me know in the comments if anything's helped you or there are any other tips and tricks. Here it is on screen right now. I know you're here only for the intel, but it's great, no problem. I'm glad you've checked the video out, but make sure you subscribe. I'd love for you to like the video and certainly leave a comment if you're able to as well. Really do appreciate you checking out the video. You take care. Best of luck with New Vanguard. And of course, lots of intel coming in the latest version of Pacific Map coming out in early December. I look forward to see you in the future video. My name is Gabba. You take care.